Now we're going to move to the next problem, the 3.7 times d vector. So our d vector is 0.3 i hat minus 5.4 j hat. And we're going to multiply that entire vector by the number 3.7. If I'm going to write this out as one long line, it's going to look something like this. So let's walk through it in stages again. It's 3.7 times, and then you've got your entire d vector in parentheses. Those parentheses are important, so you see it's the entire thing times that number that's out front. So then by the distributive property, I can take that 3.7, and I multiply the 3.7 times the 0 0.3, and I multiply 3.7 times the negative 5.4. When I multiply those two, I get the 1.11 I had. And when I multiply these two, I get negative 19.98 J hat. So it gives you all of this information because you had to multiply each component by 3.7, not just a single one. So anytime you've got a single number and you multiply it by the vector, you've got to make sure you multiply it by both components so that both of them are multiplied by the same thing.